all have those old sweaters and knits in the back of our closet. They don't fit us. We're never going to wear them again. We might as well cut them up now. And you guys requested a do-it-yourself video as my next video. So here it is. I'm going to show you how to make a really easy do-it-yourself beanie out of an old sweater or cardigan or skirt or whatever you want to. I made so many of these. Let's get started. First, you're going to need some scissors. Now for the item that is going to be chopped up, I prefer a sweater. And this is why, because it has this band around the bottom. I like that to go on my forehead. Well, that part of the beanie goes on my forehead. Um, it's kind of stretchy, but also like some skirts have those qualities, old tops. You know, as long as it's kind of stretchy, it has a band, you know, it's, but it's really up to you. The last thing that you need is something to bond the material together with. Now, I prefer to use fabric glue or my fabric stick glue gun. It's like a glue gun, but like the glue is meant for fabric. Or you can use a sewing kit. I'm not really a big sewer though, so I kind of prefer the, the easy way out. But it's up to you. So take your sweater, make your first incision, and I usually cut like right under the armpit of the sleeve. And you want to cut all the way across. Now I normally leave like, I don't know, a foot and some change of material above the band. Now afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and I'm going to cut down the seam of one side. So basically I'm going to cut it in half. And this is what it looks like when you're done with that step. Okay, so we have the height of the beanie down. Now we need to get the measurements right around our head. So all we want to do is just go ahead and measure it around our head. It takes five seconds. Just wrap it around to see, you know, how long the material needs to be and then cut off the excess. And then we have just our little unraveled beanie right here waiting to be born. Is that weird? <laughs> Okay, next step. We're actually almost done, believe it or not. You wanna take it and fold it into threes or fours. I like to do threes. And that's because we need to create three little dome shapes on the top. Cause you know, beanies are kind of like shaped like domes or whatever. So, so we wanna create that, but we want them all to match kind of. That's why we fold it into threes. Like the snowflakes that we made in kindergarten. Kindergarten was good for something is what we learned today. I cried in kindergarten a lot. I was not very social. So we unfold it and this is what the three, three matching domes is what we have. Now whether you're gluing or sewing, we need to bond this together. Now the side that you want showing is going to be facing you. We're going to glue on that side. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue the sides together. Just basically fold it in half like so. Boom. Or you can sew it in half. Boom. If you're using a fabric glue, you want to let it dry. It usually takes like 10 minutes to dry or so. It doesn't matter because now we're going to focus on the top part and this is the last step. All we need to do is bond the these little curves together and basically all that you want to do is bond one side of a curve next to the side of the curve next to it and just kind of go around the circle. I said that whole thing like a robot just now. All right, so now get your glue or your sewing kit and then just go ahead and do just that. One side bonded to the side right next to it, bonded to the side right next to it, bonded to the side right next to it and we're going to do that until the whole thing is bonded together and looks something like this. There should be a hole in the center like so and you want to go ahead and just close that up as well. Then afterwards I'm going to go ahead and let this beanie dry for like 10 minutes but if you sewed it obviously you don't need to do that. After it's done drying all you do is flip it inside out like this and that's it. Your beanie is totally done. Oh my gosh. Try on your new beanie, wear it, own it. And the first one might take you longer than like 15 minutes to do. But afterwards, like you're gonna be popping these out like hot cakes. I made literally 10 in one night and I'm not exaggerating. Also, I made one out of a skirt. It doesn't have to be a sweater. Like I said, it could be anything that like fits the requirements of, you know, what a beanie can be made out of. I'm actually thinking about making a sequin beanie with my an old sequin dress. Now, don't throw away the sleeves because guess what? Cut them off of your old sweater and they become leg warmers. I'm really excited about this because I love leg warmers and it's perfect for the winter. So if you have an old sweater or top or cardigan or anything that you want to turn into a beanie, then go ahead and give it a shot. Or you can gift it for your friends and family for Christmas. So that's it. I hope that you guys like this. Comment down below what you want my next video to be and I'll see you guys soon. I love you. Bye.